The failed Uzbek asylum seeker accused of killing five people with a truck on a crowded Stockholm street appeared to be in contact with Islamic State militants from Tajikistan and Russia before, during and after the attack on April 7th last year. That's the finding of a joint investigation by RFERL's Uzbek and Tajik services, along with Swedish news agency TT. Khramat Akilov, an ethnic Tajik from Uzbekistan, confessed to the attack. In January, he was formally charged with committing a terrorist crime. An extensive report from Swedish prosecutors said Akilov was in contact with people linked to terrorism through phone messaging apps like Zello and Telegram. Swedish authorities said the contacts used aliases and it was difficult to fully identify them. But RFERL's Uzbek and Tajik services found that many of the aliases were the same names used by several alleged Islamic State recruiters from Tajikistan. Farhot Hasanov, he is 26, the guy who directly coordinated along with uh, another Tajik militant. Akilov said he was inspired by videos posted online by an IS commander and recruiter who uses the alias Abu Dovud. According to Tajik police, his real name is Parviz Said Ramonov, age 30 from Dushanbe. Akilov confessed that he pledged loyalty to the Islamic State group through recruiter Abu Fotima. Born in Dagestan, Russia, authorities in Moscow said Abu Fotima's real name is Arsen Mukhajirov. And his name appears on an Interpol wanted list. Akilov also pledged allegiance to the Islamic State group through a man identified as Abu Umar. The 26-year-old is on a Tajik police wanted list where his real name is identified as Farhad Hasanov. Swedish investigators said Akilov received instructions from Abu Umar and from Abu Osama Noraki before, during and after the attack. Tajikistan's interior ministry confirmed to RFERL that Noraki's real name is Tojadin Nazarov and said he's recruited more than 100 Tajiks for the Islamic State group. The whereabouts of Akilov's contacts are not known, and the Islamic State group never claimed responsibility for the Stockholm attack. Tajikistan's interior ministry told RFERL they were never contacted by Swedish authorities over Akilov's ties with suspected Tajik members of the Islamic State group. A Tajik asylum seeker in Sweden who did not want to be identified said Akilov had tried but failed to recruit him. He told RFERL's Sirojidin Tolibov that he was shocked but not surprised when Akilov was named as the truck attack suspect. Ramad Akilov's trial starts on February 13th. If convicted, Akilov could be sentenced to life in prison.